angels and welcome back to Positively Patty, your personal growth bestie. Today I'm going to be talking about overcoming the feeling of being overwhelmed, getting rid of the anxious and stressful tension that comes with procrastinating and being able to feel confident in your routine, confident in your ability to complete all the tasks that you need to complete. I'm actually creating this video because someone commented on one of my videos saying that they struggle with feeling overwhelmed and they struggle with procrastination. Now, procrastination is like this dirty word and it has been told to us that we're supposed to do everything in advance, we're supposed to do everything ahead of time, we're supposed to have everything prepared, ready to go, but realistically speaking, things don't actually need to always get done in advance. If something is needed to be done on Friday, and you don't do it until Friday, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with waiting until the last minute because you know exactly how long something is going to take you. Maybe not exactly, but you know roughly how long a certain task may take you. So give yourself that amount of time. If you needed to wait until the last day and you still have enough time to finish, then do that. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of times, procrastination is like this thing that we're so guilty of and we feel so ashamed of it. And so whenever we do it, we feel like we're doing something wrong, even though what we needed to get done got done by the time it needed to get done. So why do we beat ourselves up because of this? It's such a waste of your mental energy. But I completely understand that you want to be able to get everything done in a timely fashion and you don't want to have that feeling of overwhelm. So typically, from my experience, there's a couple of different reasons why you feel overwhelmed and why you're struggling with procrastination. The first reason is because you have not created a schedule that aligns with you. So you are kind of being that perfectionist robot and you're trying to pack in so many things into one day that you don't get them done. And so you feel very overwhelmed. You feel like you want to procrastinate because if you start the to-do list, then you have an obligation to finish it And you know deep down you cannot finish this list because it's way too long, babe. It's way too freaking long. There's too many tasks and they're not related. So it's like you have things that you have to do and then you have other things on the list that are like completely random, like to go run an errand or to pick something up or to go to the gym or whatever it may be. And so when you have a million tasks that are not in the same category, it's even harder to get all of them done. For example, if you know that you're going to be working on your business today, and so within your business, you have a to-do list. Well, getting the to-do list done is going to be a lot easier because you're going to be working on your business. So you're going to be in that mindset of, okay, I'm working on my business today. And you know that working on your business is probably going to mean sitting on your computer or going to the meetings. But when you have work on your business on your list, and then you also have spend time with your family, and then you also have work out, and then you also have um, do that random project that's you know, you needed to get done around the house that's not really urgent. Like you have all these things on your list that are completely unrelated. So you are expecting yourself to like switch modes every two hours to get all this stuff done. You're not an efficient robot. Let's be real. I'm so sorry, babe. I don't care how efficient you are as a human being. You are not a robot. You are a human being. 
and you need to give yourself empty space. You can't schedule out every single minute of the day. You need a moment to breathe. You need a moment to go off task and do something else. You are not some like programmed robot that's just going to go throughout your day going step one, step two, step three, step four. You are a human being with wants, needs, feelings, emotions. You need to give yourself that space to be able to say, you know what, I don't feel like doing anything right now. Or I know I have this on my list, but I want to do something else instead today. Something else came up that is more urgent. We have to give ourselves room for all of this. Obviously, everybody has a different kind of lifestyle. So we all have different ways that we want to create our schedule, different ways that we need to create our schedule according to our responsibilities and our priorities. Luckily, when it comes to having a schedule that works for you, this is an easy, easy thing to do. Because I actually recently made a video on how to stick to your routine using your personality type. Basically, in that video, I go over how you can figure out what kind of schedule works best for you, and then that way you can create your schedule. Another awesome tool I just created is the Time Management Workbook. It's listed in the description below. It uses the Eisenhower matrix, which if you have heard of that before, it's essentially a matrix where there's four different boxes and it helps you organize your priorities by figuring out what's super important, what's urgent, what's not so important, what's not so urgent. So you get to literally map out your whole to-do list and categorize each task into the correct box. It's, it explains it in the workbook, so if you're not following along with what I'm saying, download the workbook or just Google Eisenhower Matrix because it kind of gives you an overview of what that is. It's a very standard thing, and you can kind of go from there. So when it comes to what you need to schedule, what you need to get done in the moment, what you need to kind of come back to later, what you need to delegate to other people. This workbook will help you organize that, figure all that out, and create a schedule that is actually realistic. So if you are struggling with procrastination, if you're struggling with feeling overwhelmed, a very possible reason for that could just simply be that you don't have a good schedule for you. Like your schedule sucks. You did a bad job at creating your schedule. You planned it too much or you gave yourself too much to do or you didn't group related tasks together. Like another easy way to get things done is to assign a day for a certain kind of task. So Let's say you have a bunch of things to do around the house. Well, schedule all those things in one single day. Don't do one little thing every day and then like split up all of your categories into each day because your mind is not going to be able to focus on the one theme, the one project, and then it's going to get distracted. You won't be able to get everything done. So make sure you have a theme for the day. Like today is filming day. Today is content day. Today could be your family day. Today could be the day that you're going to focus on fixing those little things around the house. Today could be the day that you're going to focus on running any errands for the home, buying any food, any groceries, any clothing, products that you need, shopping on Amazon, whatever. But by grouping these tasks together, you're able to schedule it out in a way that is a little bit more effortless and you don't have to sit here like running to a million different places in one day because that's not fun and it's not going to lead to like a peaceful feeling. So I suggest you download that workbook and you check out the other video where I explain to you how to create a routine to actually stick to your personality type. Now with that being said, there's another possible reason as to why you may be feeling overwhelmed or why you may be struggling with procrastination. This one is the more complicated reason. So the first reason was obviously you didn't plan out your schedule in a way that actually works for you. You were 
going too crazy with the tasks or you didn't group related tasks together or you didn't uh, properly organize yourself. Now, the second cause for feeling overwhelmed and feeling like you're procrastinating too much is lack of discipline, lack of motivation, which all comes back to your purpose. So discipline has more to do with the masculine energy of getting things done, doing things for a result, doing things for the sake of doing things, like your responsibilities. And then motivation comes into play more from that feminine energy because it has more to do with your purpose. It has more to do with your joy, your passions, things that you naturally love. So when you're feeling motivated, it's easier for you to get into that flow. When I'm super motivated to create a video, I don't have to like sit here and plan it out, schedule it out. Like I'm just going to do it. It's on my mind. I'm motivated. Now, when it comes to those tasks that you're not naturally motivated to do, maybe they're those things that are kind of administrative tasks. There are those things that you need to do just to keep up with your business or relationships, friendships, whatever, that requires more discipline, especially when it comes to things that are not urgent. Like if something is important to you, for example, being fit, so working out or eating healthy or spending time with your friends, these things can be important to you, but if they're not urgent, if you don't make them urgent, you probably won't get them done. And so you're going to see this stuff on your calendar and say, oh yeah, 5 p.m. I have to go to the gym. But you don't have that feeling of urgency. You know it's important, but it's not urgent. And so you don't do it, you skip it, and then you feel really overwhelmed. You feel really bad about it because you feel like you're procrastinating something that's actually something you want to do because it's good for you. So that's where discipline comes in to actually do the things that maybe aren't so urgent they're not so exciting to us they don't we're not naturally so motivated to do it but we know it's good for us we know it's important and it's one of our priorities so we get it done we use that discipline now motivation and discipline both come back to your purpose The purpose behind whatever it is you're doing, that's going to drive you. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, you are not prioritizing properly. And if you're struggling with even starting your tasks, you don't even want to do it. You don't have the energy. You're struggling with the motivation. It's because you don't have a firm purpose or intention. Get back to the why. When you tap into why you are doing something, that unlocks a whole new level of motivation and it gives you that extra push to be more disciplined. And reminder, discipline is a muscle. So it's something that the more you do it, the easier it gets. So if you start practicing using discipline with little stuff, like little things throughout your day, and just start doing it, then over time it's going to get easier for you to have that discipline when it comes to the bigger things that may feel more challenging. So when it comes to establishing your purpose, this is something I go over in the Rewired Play Shop because a lot of mental health problems, a lot of limiting beliefs, a lot of poor life experiences, bad manifestations simply come from a lack of purpose because you are not manifesting with intention. What does that even mean, manifesting with intention? Well, your intention is your purpose. It's what you are here to do. So when you aren't aligned with that, when you don't know what that is, when you haven't committed to that purpose, nothing really makes sense. You're just kind of like, forcing yourself to do things because you think you should and then you have a million things on your to-do list and you don't get them done and you're kind of all over the place you don't feel that motivation you don't even know what to do like you don't even know what needs to get done 
So establishing your purpose, knowing what it is that the reason for why you're doing all this. Why do you want to have this thing done? When you have your schedule, ask yourself, why am I doing this task? Why am I doing it? If it's exercise, well, you're doing it because you want to have the best, strongest body you could possibly have. That's why you're doing it. When you imagine yourself being that strong, powerful person that you want to be, everything just falls into place because you have a purpose. You have a reason. Why do you need to go and book all these meetings? To grow your business. Why do you need to sit here and create these products or promote these products? To grow your business. Why do you need to go and create all this content for social media? What is going to motivate you to show up consistently every day and create an online brand that sells your products? Why? To grow your business. Why do you want to grow your business? To work in your passion. To earn money while you sleep. To earn money working in something that you actually enjoy. To be financially independent so you can spend more time with your family. To earn more money so you can buy nicer things. Go on nicer vacations. Live a better, more abundant, rich, and fulfilling life. To be able to feel and expand your gratitude by having bigger things to be grateful for. (laughs) Tap into like that deep purpose in your heart. Okay, even if it's something that feels kind of superficial, like go beyond that. Why do you want that? Why do you want to be healthy? It's not just to look good. It's to be able to grow old with your romantic partner. It's to be able to have children and grow older and be able to meet your grandchildren, be able to meet your great-grandchildren. Be able to teach your children or teach the people around you how to live, how to be healthy. Be able to wake up in the morning and feel good. Why do you want to be healthy? So you can wake up every day feeling happy. So you are literally not concerned about anything within your body because you know you are healthy. So all you have to worry about is living your life and doing whatever it is that you do. So get behind the purpose get behind the why you are doing this go when you make your list of to-do list when you look through it ask yourself why am i doing this why if you can't find a real solid reason that goes back to your purpose your life purpose your pleasure your joy your happiness your fulfillment your peace if none of it comes back to something in that regard something that raises your vibration in some way then maybe you shouldn't be doing it maybe you should delete that thing from your to-do list if it's not necessary it's not something that is a life or death situation and it's not going to improve your life in any way or improve anyone's life in any way, then remove it from your list. Those things should not be on your list anyways. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your energy. But if there's a purpose behind it, even if you don't enjoy it, you're going to have that natural motivation to do it because you know it's for a reason. So in my example, you know, I have an online coaching business. I also work as a creative consultant for other businesses. And I love helping people. I love creating. I love teaching. I love learning for myself, understanding new information, teaching it to others, using what I know to give others the tools to be able to take back control of their life. Because I see so many people in this world in their victim mentality, like, They have no freaking control over their life. And I'm here to remind people, yes, you do. Yes, you do. You just didn't have the tools. You didn't have the resources. You didn't have the person supporting you, but now you do. I'm here 
I'm here to help you. And if I don't know the answer to your question, I'll figure it out. We will figure it out together. Somebody here knows the answer to your question. Somebody here can help you come up with a solution. So that is my purpose. That is my why. Everything that I do surrounds that purpose. When it comes to exercising, well, why do I need to exercise? Because I need to stay healthy. I need to stay in optimal physical shape so I can continue to teach for as long as I possibly can and actually enjoy my life and enjoy the money that I'm earning because I'm healthy enough to go out and spend it and feel good about it. It all comes back down to my purpose to live a peaceful, rich, fulfilling life and to spread that towards others, to help others do the same. So any task that I do, recording this video comes back to my purpose. Editing this video comes back to my purpose. Posting this video, working on the SEO, creating the video description, creating the video thumbnail, answering my emails, responding to comments, posting blog posts, posting on social media, talking to my friends, hanging out with my family, like all the things of in my life come back to my purpose. They come back to who I am, what I believe in, and what I'm here to do on this earth. Find that purpose. If you want help finding this and getting in touch with this, I'm telling you, the Rewired Play Shop is where you need to be. But regardless of any courses or anything else that you do, start thinking about it. Start thinking about what your purpose is. I don't want you going throughout your day like a freaking robot, just automating all these tasks and not even thinking as to why you're doing what you're doing. Why are you working in this job that you don't even enjoy? What is your purpose? What do you actually like to do? Why do you think that you have to stay in a place where you are not being fulfilled? Who told you that? Who made you believe that? You can get out of whatever situation you don't like. You can manifest yourself into a new one. And I don't care if you don't believe in manifestation. I don't care if you don't believe in God. I don't care if you don't believe in the law of attraction. It's still going to work. It's still going to work and you can still find a way to work with these tools within your beliefs without having to buy into some religion, without having to buy into some concept you think is crazy, without having to believe something that you just think is delusional. You don't have to. But understand one thing. You have so much power and you have so much untapped potential And it all comes down to having your intention and knowing that you have the power to make it happen. You are not powerless. Get your schedule right. Plan your schedule in a way that actually works for you. Be realistic. Don't sit here trying to plan out 30 things to do in one day. You know you're not going to get it done. Be realistic. Start by asking yourself, what is the minimum amount of things I can do today and still be working towards my goals? What is the minimum amount of tasks I can do today and still be working towards my goals? We're not doing a year worth of work in a week. Like we are doing a day's work in a day, period. The sun rises, the sun goes down, 24 hours went by, whatever. One day's worth of tasks. Be realistic because when you... Stop pushing yourself so freaking hard and you allow yourself to be a freaking human being and do what it is that is really necessary and give yourself room to breathe, you will see that you're actually going to start getting more stuff done because you took off the pressure. Procrastination, the feeling of being overwhelmed, it's not real. Do you realize that the feeling of overwhelm It's an emotion. It's not physical. It's not a real threat to your life. You made it up in your head. And overwhelm is relative. So that's how you know it's freaking made up. Because you can have a to-do list and you can look at it and feel overwhelmed. And someone else can look at that same list and be like, oh, this is fine. I can get all this done. No problem. Because they have a different definition 
of what it means to be overwhelmed. They have a different mindset as to what is attached to their value. So if you see your value as a human attached to how many things you can get done, baby, you need to do some inner work because your value, your success as a human, your power is not attached to how many things you can check off a list. It is attached to the degree by which you are enjoying your life. Your value is attached to how much you can enjoy your life, how peaceful you can feel living your life. That is what measures your value. That is what measures your success, not these external things. So hopefully this video helped you. I know that I gave a couple of reasons as to why you may be feeling overwhelmed or why you may be struggling with that nasty feeling of procrastination. But remember, procrastination is not some evil thing. Sometimes it's just what it is. Don't think about it like you need to get everything done in advance because that's not life. When a woman is pregnant and she has a baby, you think she's like, oh my God, this baby better come out, you know, two months before it's due because we're overachievers in this family. No, babe, like if that baby comes out two months early, it's going to be ill. It's going to have issues because it needs eight months, right? I hope yeah. it needs eight months to develop and be born. Okay, so why are you trying to rush your task? Why are you trying to rush your life? It's going to get done when it needs to get done. So stop worrying about it. Get rid of the stress and the anxiety because you can't perform that way. If you are stressed about something, you can't also be in flow and getting shit done. So the first thing you need to do is stop being so concerned about it. If there are things that you need to do that are a matter of life and death, do those things first. Everything else, if it's not a matter of life or death, if it's not a matter of okay, you will literally be homeless if you don't do this thing. You will literally like not have a family anymore if you don't do this. You will not have a car. You will have to like live under a bridge if you don't do this one thing. Then babe, yeah, emergency time, go do it. But if it's not that urgent, then relax. You're gonna figure out when it needs to get done. And if you genuinely don't have time for it, if you can't get to it, ask for help. We live in the world of unlimited assistance. We have all sorts of AI assistance. We have all sorts of daycare, family, babysitters, dog walkers, people that come and wash your car, cleaning ladies that come and clean your house, people that'll come and do your laundry, uh, personal shoppers that will shop for your clothes for you. Uh, people that will move you from one house to another. People will come in and literally pack all your stuff in boxes if you pay them to. Uh, what else? It's unlimited. Like there's unlimited ways that you can ask for help. And sometimes, even though I know like we want to be frugal, we don't want to have to spend money on stuff that we could just do ourselves. If it causes us stress, then is it really worth the $20 to pay someone else? Is it really worth the hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars, whatever, that it takes us to hire someone else to do it? Is it really worth it? Is our peace and happiness worth a hundred dollars? We're willing to sacrifice it for hiring someone to wash our car for 50 bucks? Are we willing? Is that your choice? If it is, then you need to accept that you will always be stressed out, you will always feel overwhelmed, and you physically have too much to do and you don't have help. I see this a lot with like single parents because they have their kids, they have their job, they have, they have so many responsibilities and no partner to help them with all this. You know, that's why parent, it's good to have like two parents, even if they're not together, two parents available because you need more than one person to take care of a child 
and take care of all the other responsibilities in the world, right? Like your house, work, whatever it is that you do. So it's perfectly okay to ask for help. Ask your family for help. Ask your friends for help. You know, pay a little bit extra so your child has an after-school activity, some club to go to so that you can have some time to yourself and maybe go home and instead of going directly to school to pick up your child, you go home and you have a little mommy time or daddy time, you know? Or even if you aren't a single parent, if you are a couple, it's so easy to get bogged down with the responsibilities that you don't give yourself that room. And you think that, you know, it's not worth it to hire a cleaning lady to come and clean the house because you can just clean the house. But then next thing you know, you haven't had a romantic date with your wife or your husband for the past three months because every time you have free time, you have to clean the house or you have to watch the kids or you have to do this. When you could have paid someone a hundred bucks, you know, every two, three weeks to come and clean up after you, deep clean the house, and there you go. You have a few hours to go on date night, right? So start thinking about your life like priorities. Start thinking about what is your purpose? Why do you live? Why are you alive? Why are you here on this earth? What are you doing that is aligned with that? And what are you doing that literally has nothing to do with your purpose? My life purpose has nothing to do with sitting here and mopping floors. I'll tell you that. So if someone comes and does that for me because that has nothing to do with my life purpose. Having a clean home does because if I don't have a clean home, I'm like stressed out. I'm looking at all the dirty stuff. So having a clean home is very important to me, but it's not something I need to do. So hire someone else to do it. (laughs) Hire someone else to do it. If you can even think about the fact that you are overwhelmed, then you have privilege because people that are in survival mode, they don't have any feeling of overwhelm. They don't procrastinate. They do what they need to do to survive. They have no freaking choice. So the fact that you're sitting here procrastinating, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you have a choice, be grateful, be thankful, and get to work. Get to work. Figure out what it is that is important to you, how you're going to get it done, and just do it. Tap into your purpose and just do it. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Hire a coach hire a therapist, hire a mentor, hire somebody to hold you accountable for doing what it is that you need to do. Hire an assistant to help you plan everything and get everything done. Do whatever it is that you personally require to start getting into the routine of living and acting in alignment with your purpose. I hope this was helpful. Again, if this is something that you feel like you need a little bit more guidance with or you want to start having someone else to hold you accountable and guide you along this journey, the Rewired Play Shop is great for this. We are going to work on reprogramming those limiting beliefs, creating an identity for ourselves that aligns with our purpose and living our best life. I'm so excited. I know some of you have already signed up. And also, the Divinely Compensated course is going to be launching soon. I'm about, I would say, halfway through creating the course. And once it's done, the price is going to go up because then it'll just be the launch price versus the pre-launch price. So if you are interested in monetizing your life, monetizing your passion, you know what your passion is or you want to figure out what your passion is and you want to create that into an online business that is earning you money while you sleep, then this is the course for you, okay? I personally love money. Who doesn't? And I love doing what I love. So if I can make money and do what I love in one, best believe I'm going to do it. And With that, of course, I'm going to teach you how to do it because I'm not one to gatekeep or keep secrets. I love to talk and I love to share. So if that's something that interests you, I invite you to the course. Remember that the time management workbook is linked in the description if you're interested in downloading that and 
getting through to your priorities and scheduling yourself out in a way that is actually realistic and helpful and not stressful. (laughs) So with that being said, love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.